I believe that once we have defined an ultimate goal, we can use uh, something like a scientific method or or some rational thinking to deduce if a specific moral code is objective or not. Uh, however, I think that it is very difficult for us now to agree on some ultimate goal. I'm very skeptical. I don't know if that the, word, the right word. I thought that in I thought that in this period of time that in which we live, we are soon to discover any any objective way to define what should be the ultimate goal of society. And that on that leaves us that leaves us uh, in a situation where for finding out uh, what should be that ultimate goal uh, we have to make some agreements we have to define uh, what is important to us and discuss, discuss and have a conversation to discuss it uh, and def and at some point uh, to reach that agreement uh, as a societal imposition uh, or leaders in our society should imp should um, somehow compose the, that moral code in as we already do it in the form of laws. And that's politics. I have recently uploaded a video about feminism. Uh, I'm not a feminist. Uh, I have. I, I cannot be a feminist for many reasons, even if I once believed to be to have been one. Mm, but there's the constant debate about uh, if <laughs> about uh, feminism. There's a constant debate about if feminism is um, is needed when we can say that probably. Egalitarianism, egalitarianism is a better option. I consider myself a gender egalitarian, but I'm not um, in the position to say that gender egalitarianism is the ultimate goal that everybody should reach. Gen it implies many suppositions. It implies that um, it is actually better for uh, for all of us to uh, for all of us an egalitarian society than an stratified society in which um, people have a more definite place in so in what they have to do, including gender roles. So the point is. This is actually a political discussion, and I think that the, on, the only way to get to a political discussion is to is to expose the ideas and to convince people. So far, I don't think that there, there is an objective way to actually say to actually set what are the goals of society. We can, for example, discuss, okay, if we want to maximize well-being, uh, we can probably make an experiment to say if a stratified society could reach well-being better than a egalitarian society, or, or vice versa. That's a probable goal, but uh, somehow you have also to define what well-being is and why well-being is a better option than any other options. Sometimes uh, mm, I can guess that uh, minimize suffering would be better than would be better than maximizing well-being. Or you can interpret it that uh, in way to maximize well-being, uh, anybody who suffers should be exterminated. To, so there's no so that person would 
not suffer anymore. That would be a rational conclusion if we said in stone that maximize well-being or that minimizing suffering is the ultimate goal. Mm, it's not something that I would actually promote, but as I said, it's a logical conclusion. A possible lo logical conclusion, a possible result of what we decide. So. I think everything ultimately reduced to politics, but in order to make politics right, we must define right what we what will <laughs> what we what <laughs> we we must decide right what our political goals are and what they imply and how we can measure them. <laughs> 